What's up everyone, Yuri Replace here back with another video. In this one I've built a modern house, which is my first try, I've never done one, but I always wanted to make one. So I'm going to be doing a little montage of the making of, and after that I'm going to be showing the whole house with a tour. I hope you guys will enjoy this one and let's get started. I want to tell you guys a little story about the build of this house actually, because this was the most annoying thing to do and not because I don't like the build itself but because of everything went wrong uh, so I've never done modern before so at first I was really struggling while recording so and I was like this recording is gonna be such a mess which means that it's gonna be a pain to edit so at one point I was like okay I'm gonna start over so that I get a cleaner recording which will be way easier to edit so I started recording this again and it went pretty well and then when I wanted to stop the recording I realized that it didn't re record like at all so I was like what? <laughs> and then I started looking and it turns out that the program only recorded an hour instead of my full build which took like three hours. So I missed a huge chunk of my build which I was like oh my god I don't want to do this anymore so I sort of rage quit it at that point. And then uh, the next day I was like, okay, I'm gonna try this again. So I actually built this house twice already. So this would be like the third time building this. And it went super good because I already knew what I wanted to do and stuff. So I was pretty happy. And then I finally stopped the recording and my computer tells me there's not enough space on the hard drive to save the video. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? I was like, everything is going wrong with this video. This video is haunted, like for real. <laughs> so at that point I was like, okay, I'm gonna stop this video now because I'm not, not gonna build this again. I mean, that would be the fourth time building this. So I was like, okay, maybe if I just take a few days off and I will make a tour video instead of like the little montage that I show you now. Uh, but then after uh, a day, uh, someone contacted me and he, he was like, okay, maybe we can get your temporary file and we could find that, thank God. And I was able to open that file in Premiere Pro, uh, which gave me the option to um, extract it as an mp4 and then I could actually work with it so I was really happy that I finally got that recording that I wanted so badly for this video and then after that uh, everything went smoothly basically so I was pretty happy that I didn't give up and found that footage and I was able to edit it anyway uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's just a little background about this video and I am so happy it's finally over because I cannot take any more setbacks. I mean, if there would be like one thing going wrong again, I would have skipped this video like totally. <laughs> so I hope you guys understand why it took a bit longer for me to upload my next video. And I really do hope you guys like this one. Because, yeah, like I said, uh, it took me <laughs> a hell of a lot of the time to make this. Uh, I like how it turned out and I'm happy that it finally worked the way I had it in mind. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's uh, continue with the rest of the video. Uh, so as you can see, I did a pretty short montage because I didn't want to give like everything away. Uh, because I'm gonna be doing a full tour, so you know, I want to be able to show you guys some stuff uh, Also, if you have any questions about stuff that I've done But you cannot really see it because the montage is that fast Feel free to ask me any questions in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as possible uh, But yeah, so like I said, I really hope that this turned out modern enough <laughs> I took some reference pictures uh, of the uh, Pinterest and there are like so many things you can do with modern houses but uh, the way I did this I hope uh, I hope it works with the overlapping roofs and stuff and like the little border underneath it adds a little bit more and uh, yeah so I hope it worked and that was it for the montage so let's get started with the actual tour so first things first, I started basically by uh, decorating this little pond 
because I made like sort of a waterfall going down here and I think it really looks cute because this house is actually on a sort of a cliff. So I put some fishies here and some plants and stuff to make it look really nice and I really like how this turned out. And then here we have the actual entrance to the house. So I made stairs going up and I really like this fencing with the leaves on top. And then when you go up, there's the entrance straight away and we have some patches with palm trees and some more plants and stuff and wooden looks. I absolutely love these ones. They're so nice. <laughs> so let's head inside and when you go in, you come straight into the living room. So I made my own modern table using the display frames and the glass flooring. And then this one acts like a TV. <laughs> and I put some nice uh, little decorations here, not too much because I tend to overdo that. And some plants at the back side. And this wall actually uh, made a really good divider, but I didn't want to close it off like entirely. So this actually worked pretty well. And then I did a little bit of uh, ceiling stuff here so I could place the lamp. This just adds a little bit more. I did that throughout the whole house and I thought that looked really modern. So when you keep walking, you get to the dining area. So I made like a pretty big dining table by placing two tables next to each other. A nice cupboard here with some decorations and a nice picture frame and some decorations as well. <laughs> so sometimes you have little corners where you don't know what to do. So I tend to just put more decorations there because yeah, you can never have enough decorations, right? <laughs> so through this door, you enter the bathroom. It's a pretty luxurious one, I would say, for just a toilet. But yeah, it was a bigger space. So I thought maybe I use those uh, granite blocks for the actual counter because that looks a bit more modern to me. And I really liked how this one turned out. And then when you take a right here, you come into the kitchen. I also did that ceiling here. Uh, it's an open kitchen with a little bar. And I made uh, the same counter that I did in the bathroom. And then just some decorations like I always do in my kitchens. So when you go up here, you come into like a sort of an office area. So I made a little desk here and some bookcases and uh, a bit of decorations as well to fill out this space because it's quite big. And I, at first I didn't really know what to do with it, but most houses have like an area where you can, you know, do stuff for work maybe, or when you're in college, you could study here, something like that. And then through these doors is the bathroom and I also use those granite uh, counters and I decorated a bit with some uh, perfume bottles and some towels and stuff. And then here is a glass wall for the actual shower and a nice pot plant, uh, the stage one of the gladiola flower, that huge flower. So here's the bedroom. It's quite a big one and I use those curtains in front of the bed or on top of the bed, I'm sorry because it, it adds a little bit more to the room. I've actually never used those, but I quite like how that turned out. And then over here we have like a vanity area and some shoes, which I imagine that Bob's would really like. <laughs> so yeah, that's, uh, that's it for the bedroom. And then when you head out here, there's a little balcony with some lounge chairs and an umbrella because you don't want to burn yourself from the sun. <laughs> So yeah, this is where you could actually get your tan in the summer. And since this is like the desert area, I imagine that it would be sunny here all the time. And you really have a nice view here over the ocean. I actually deleted quite a bit of the mountain here just to get this open view. So yeah, I really like this decking as well. And then you have a little overlap for if it were to rain from the roof. So yeah, that's this area. And then we are gonna go to the garden, which the entrance is right beneath the couch here in the living room. So I use the same plants that I use everywhere because these look a bit more like desert plants to me. And then I made a little framing here with some windows and I thought this would add a bit to the modern style. 
and uh, we got a nice big table for if they would want to sit outside with some friends at night or just have dinner here you know basic stuff and then we got a pool which also is open with some glass which makes it so that you can actually look into the ocean when you are inside the pool i use this little item too bad it doesn't work though it would it would have been so nice if actual water came out <laughs> and then here's another area where i place some decorations together just to fill out this space and then another set of lounge chairs to chill out with the pool so i'm gonna go into the screenshots now i want to thank you guys for watching and if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe also if you want to follow me on twitch the link is in the description and if you want to get notified you can hit that bell icon so you get a message when i go live i also made my own discord server where i also notify people that i'm going live on twitch the link is in the description and i want to thank you guys again i wish you a nice day and i will see you next time bye